how we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which my colleagues and the panel are blindfolded. Blindfolds all in place, panel? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Jury, sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? panel, as you know, in the case of the mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin it with Arlene Francis. Are you part of the wonderful world of entertainment? Yes. Who? Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Sir. Uh, are you, have you ever been in a motion picture? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Miss Gilgallan. Uh, are you also in the field of records? <laughs> yes. Are you a singer? <laughs> Am I a singer? Yes. 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 Miss Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make us believe he's Yves Montand or Maurice Chevalier or something. Are you... Uh, you're a singer. Have you also been uh, uh, a motion picture personality? Yes, yeah, that has been asked and the answer is yes. Are you beautiful? <laughs> Are you a handsome leading man? Are you a handsome leading man? That helps anyway. We got that improvement. I would say here, this is a difficult question for our guest to answer, and I would say he is a handsome man, yes, Mr. Sir. Did you ever play in a picture called Island in the Sun? Uh, yes. Mr. Harry Belfonte? Yes, Mr. Harry Belfonte. At least this time I got further than the first question. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was quite a language there you were. Yes, I, I, I kind of chopped it up a little. Um, it was a little mixture of everything. What was it? Was it Creole French? A little bit of Creole French, a little bit of double talk, and uh, a little bit of confusion. I, I meant to say the picture you're doing now, but I can't think of its name. Odds uh, against tomorrow. Odds against... Well, that's tomorrow. the one that's currently playing on Broadway. That's right. Odds Against Morris, but currently playing. Yes, Mr. And Harry. isn't Harry going to be currently playing on Broadway pretty soon at the Palace? Yes, on December the 15th, uh, I'm going to be in the Palace Theatre for about eight weeks. That'll be a big opening. I hope uh, so. That is, that's uh, almost the last of the, of the, of the big theatres left where you would have a long run like that, isn't it? Palace, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, it's, it's the last of the vaudeville houses in America. Yes. That's, that's I know that the palace was the great goal in, in the olden days when vaudeville was general over the country, but there is no other place in the United States that's quite like the, the, uh, the palace now. No, most of the theaters in the country that, uh, that, mm -hmm. that, at least that I perform in and a lot of us perform in, have, were not basically oh, vaudeville houses. No, They're all no, either no, legit no, theaters or open-air amphitheaters. Well, Harry, as a young man who has come to uh, very great fame in entertainment in recent years, this may be a question you don't want to answer, but I'm going to try it because I, the, everybody has a theory. What killed vaudeville? What killed vaudeville? Yeah, so you mean the, in its own old structure. Well, I would rather think that vaudeville at the moment is uh, kind of having a little uh, hibernation. I don't really think that it's dead. I would think that mostly it was the medium of television. It was new things that came along That's in the area of entertainment. Radio and movies, too. Yeah. And that it's, well, I think it, Harry's put it very well, it's, it's hibernating, but we'll be back with us. Thank you very oh, much no, Harry, for being our guest. Harry, go off singing Matilda so we can all <laughs> join in. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to, but I have to tell you the truth. On December the 10th, I'm also appearing in a one-hour show on CBS for Revlon. And, uh, Are you doing Matilda for them? Yes. Well, this country. is CBS. <laughs> Have a workout. <laughs> but it's not Revlon. <laughs> Harry, thanks very much. Even if you yeah, can't sing Matilda, nice to have you with us. <laughs> And we'll be back after this word from our sponsor. 